In this video, I wanted to share with you a really important tip for defending the U-Trips meta out of the nickel over uh, in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to get my entire nickel over defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon membership. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks. And I wanted to put out a video uh, today to kind of speak to dealing with this uh, U-Trips formation, which is really good, especially with some of the motions that they can do. So what you'll see with this formation, let's say I'm in cover four quarters. I'm going to go ahead and turn my match on. Uh, I love to run match defense. I have a whole defensive ebook devoted to teaching the match principles. If you want to check that out, that is also on our Patreon. But what you're going to notice here is when we pinch our defense, it's really good because we can send pressure um, from our nickel linebacker or our nickel corner as well as our two linebackers. However, if they motion, let's say they motion this receiver to the left side, you're going to notice something important. You see how that linebacker moves. Um, that linebacker on the left side is going to move. And if I motion back, he's going to move again. So um, let's say that I wanted to send pressure and I wanted to blitz these two linebackers. If I motion this guy, even though the linebacker is on a blitz, you're going to notice he still moves. And the problem with this is if I'm using, which I want to be using, this defender, you'll see that. If I try to run this blitz, it might come in, but it's a very delayed pressure, as you can see. So that's kind of part of the problem. Now, the, the second piece of this problem is the fact is, or the fact that we're now out, out leveraged to a little bit of a degree. Um, and that's why U-Trips are so good. So we're kind of out leveraged to the left. So you'll see here at this point right here like that linebacker there's really no purpose um, for him to move out to be honest um, he's not going to bring a lot to the table he might reroute a, sh a steam streak but outside of that he's not really in a good spot to help me okay so what i want to do with this is against u trips if at this point right here i'm in a pretty decent i'm actually in a great alignment because I can blitz these guys, everybody's manned up over their player, or their they have a good alignment, solid, okay? So if I'm standing right here, as soon as I see this motion, it's really simple. All we're going to do, we see this motion, we're just going to base align, and we're going to pinch our defense again. And so you see that the defense looks like this, okay? Now, another thing we could do if we want to is we could show blitz. Obviously, I want you to notice that my linebacker... Uh, on the right side kind of again does some weird stuff um, so you see that uh, but as you can see here this is significantly improved it's a lot better uh, of an alignment than what we currently or than what we had before and obviously the nickel over is going to go crazy now I want to explain something else with this uh, that I think is another another thing that you could do let's say you move this guy it's like you move him in and you move him back when they motion in this formation, if I manually click on, you see that he still moves. Um, I would have to like redrag him in, which is not what we want to do. And notice he still wants to fight me, and he wants to come out here to the outside line. You see how I can't just manually move him in? It's a big issue. I could put him here, um, you know, and do something like this, and almost make it look like a dime set. Uh, but again, the problem is the pressure is not going to come in very fast. Um, and so it creates a lot of challenges for me defensively. Now, why would I not want to just come out against U-Trips uh, base aligned? Well, the main reason is because I would then have to be in a position where now let's say they let's say that I'm in man to man. So let's say that I'm in cover one hole, and the play looks like this. If you watch this real quick, you're going to notice something interesting. So if I motion, nobody moves. Um, what I would have to do in that scenario is I would have to base a line and then show blitz. And I want you to notice that the nickel corner is going to come over here anyway. Okay. So the reason that I don't want to base a line off rip or just come out base aligned against this formation is because I don't want to... Um, I would rather start here and then they just, once they motion, 
So let me give you let me give you the man coverage overload blitz example. Okay, so this right here, they motion. I'm going to base align show blitz, and you'll notice now that we're still going to get a really nice alignment. Um, obviously, the safeties are a little bit misaligned, you know, so you might have to kind of fiddle with this a little bit, um, you know, or run a different play. Let me grab Overstorm Brave and kind of explain it through there. Um, but the beauty of that is when you when you when you come out and you base align after they motion. What it does is it changes who is going to be responsible for that motion to slot receiver. So let me show you another play here. And we're going to be an Overstorm Brave. And they're going to motion. So they motion Jones. Baseline show blitz. And now you see here that if you look at the, the play art, this one's being a little finicky, but you might have to baseline twice. But you see how this is still pretty decent. Um, this is still pretty solid. Okay. Um, now, I think it's actually significantly better if you come out in a zone play and audible to a man play. Uh, I have found that is a significant, uh, significant thing when it comes to alignment. Um, alignment is such an important piece of your defense because if your defense is aligned properly, then it's not going to have some of the some of the same issues. So you see here, we audible, we motion, uh, or we motions over, you know, and then we just we're just going to baseline and press it now. And now you see this is fine. Um, you know, we can handle the reality that our slot is, uh, or that our our slot. Is misaligned, you know, or we could do something like this, um, you know, where we do something, you know, you can kind of fiddle with this a little bit, um, you know. Obviously, we could do something. If we wanted to send heat, well, we can kind of fix the alignment and send the heat this way. So, you know, that's kind of my recommendation. So, whenever you see like this motion here, which is going to cause us all kinds of issues alignment-wise. After they motion, just baseline, and then you can repinch your defense, or you can show blitz if you want to. Um, and now my defense alignment is not so screwed up, and we can play really, really effective uh, match coverage. You know, based off something like this here. So you see how we're able to kind of handle everything that they throw our way because our alignment is actually not not terrible. Okay, um, if you just come out like this, well, you're already misaligned right from the get go. Okay, um, because now on the left side is, is completely misaligned. Um, we could run this and this is fine, but I do think the better way, you know, again, is to just wait till I motion and then go. Uh, but obviously nickel over, really, really powerful formation. There's a lot of things I wanna get into, but I don't have time today uh, to talk everything about this. So I would really recommend getting the, the, the defensive ebook um, I think that the defensive ebook really does a great job of explaining how to use this formation to lock down several different formations. This formation, really quickly, is something that's really what's, what's really cool about it is you can run it in several different ways, right? You can run it as a, a shed defense, you can run it as a heavy pressure defense, you can run it as a too high double safety uh, where you can run match coverages, cover two coverages, you have a lot more uh, dispose arsenal in your coverages. You can also send, um, like I said, you can send six or seven really easily out of this and be able to really overwhelm them with pass rush pressure. Uh, you know, there's just so much you can do. So if you want to learn how I run the nickel over, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. And again, like I said, it'll get you access to all of our eBooks. We're dropping our 11th eBook of the Madden 23 season tomorrow. Um, and we've got going to continue to be pumping out some stuff. I've got some really, really good defensive content coming your way. So make sure you're in our Patreon. That way you get access to all of that stuff. Again, the link to sign up is in the description below.